Welcome to Taipei and another Calamelson.com video. You join me as I'm traveling to Taoyuan International Airport from Kimpton to An Hotel. Ready to fly to Hong Kong in Cafe Pacific's economy class on the Boeing 777. After a speedy 40 minute journey to the airport on the highway, I arrived to a Spartan check-in area for Cafe Pacific. I ended up having to wait for around 30 minutes a day before they opened when I could use the first class desk thanks to my One World Emerald status from Finnair. Strangely, the check-in agents asked for you to wait for the baggage to clear a security scan before proceeding to immigration. I never needed to do this for regular suitcases prior to this, but it seems to be the norm in Taipei on both of my visits. Clearing security and immigration was a breeze, taking less than 10 minutes, after which I headed to the Plaza Premium Lounge. This is pretty average and nothing to shout about, so spent all of half an hour in here. Instead, I went for a walk around the airport and headed to our gate B5, where the Boeing 777 greeted us on arrival. Today I took full advantage of the priority boarding with my status to get on board first and grab these empty shots of the plane. We headed through the second set of doors to turn right through the business, premium economy and then the economy gap. This aircraft was in Cafe Pacific's long haul configuration, which would usually ply routes to Europe and North America. These seats have been refreshed with this nice Cafe Turquoise colour palette and flexible headrests in addition to modern and importantly usable touchscreens. Cafe's economy seats for their long haul aircraft are some of the nicest around. There's a folding tray table that make it more comfortable to sit while having a drink. While above, there's another storage compartment with cup holder that doubles as a tablet rest. More on that later. A set of flimsy headphones are provided in the pocket, which can fit quite a lot. Onto the M Flight Entertainment, where there's a 9 inch touch screen. This is actually better than the older non refurbished screens in premium economy. Since this flight, Cafe have updated some of their aircraft to a newer software design. In my view, that was completely unnecessary, as this system design is actually really nice already. It's smooth to use and responsive with an exceptional selection of Western and Asian content. The map, too, is extremely easy to use. As we began to prepare for takeoff, the long safety video played in English, Cantonese and Mandarin. En route to the runway, we passed a huge Taiwan flag, no comment from me on that, as well as one of the country's newest airlines, Starlux, which I'd love to try in the near future. Today's flight is really short, scheduled at just under 2 hours but practically it only takes around 90 minutes. I relaxed by watching a little bit of YouTube on my tablet, but I did try out the entertainment. The only annoyance of this system is the extent of the adverts, which don't appear to be skippable. A hot meal, which is unfathomable on short haul European economy flights of this length, was served. It was small but perfectly sufficient as a chicken in soy based sauce with plenty of veggies. I actually quite enjoyed the flavour. And with that, we began our descent into Hong Kong Cheplap Kop Airport. Landing at the airport is one of my favourite in the world thanks to the scenic approach over the city and neighbouring Shenzhen.
There's really not much to this flight, but what Cafe Deliver is a solid short haul economy experience that you really can't fault. Excellent entertainment, helpful crew, solid food, and a comfortable seat that I could easily fly on a hop from Hong Kong to London. But what did you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Would you fly Cafe Short Haul in Asia? And if you enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time for another Calamazon.com video. Or in the meantime, check out one of my previous videos. See you then. Bye bye.